Let us leave here. The beast is lost. Be still. The strike was on its mark. Yes, that is what you said now, an hour past. Come now, I want to leave this place. I don't take to being in this wood. It makes my blood run cold, it does. Old nurse's tales still with you. The story spun for the benefit of wandering children. All I said is that I'm cold. Let us go. That boar could feed my family for two months or more. Winter's coming on, and I am not one to be left like a foolish man who could not prepare his home for winter. We will go a little further, and then you can return to your warm hearth, Alfstein. Merciful God. It's nearly mid-morning. I have livestock to attend to, Oswin, and I do not intend to spend the rest of this day chasing a rogue boar through the Gothweed. And there's a reason our people stay away from this cursed place. It's the work of the old people here. Heretics. Heathen worship. Just last month, I heard old Elfric heard rumors of a druid Near Cotton Hill. Mammers of an old man who mistakes his son regularly for the abbot of Shrewsbury. Mock it if you like, but the devil's in this place. He lives here. Fear benefits a man nothing. If I were you, I... What is it? What is it? Something comes this way. God's teeth! Come on, let us leave this place. Hosman, look! Oh, no, that's holy. We must leave here now. This man bears the path. He will find another way around. Are you mad? Christ, come away, Oswin! Why do you assume this man means us harm? Run if you like, Halfstan! Peace be with you, traveler. Peace be unto you, stranger, from our Lord and Savior. What brings you to this dark wood? I could ask the same of you, friend. I came by way of the King's Road from Wessex. Wessex? That's a journey of many miles. What brings you to the Gothweed? Surely you know this is not a good place for decent folk to be. This place, my good man, is why I am here. I have, in writing, the blessing and authorization bestowed upon me by the Archbishop himself. Important business for our Holy Lord, as you can see, of the greatest importance. 
What's that that it says then? Uh, my lord. We can speak of that after a while. For now, let's eat. We have little to spare, friend. Including daylight. We must be on our way. Surely you would not refuse the company of a fellow Christian. Besides, I carry my own provisions. Let us break bread together. You carry a Norman blade? Yes. A gift from the brothers at St. Benedict in Lincoln. It has served me well for many years. We do not see many men of God of your standing this close to the border. Well, where is it you come from again, friend? I come from many places. For I have been to many places all over the world. And to this country, I came by way of the sea. I passed through York some time ago, the Danish settlement. You're Norse? Well, you're, you're garb. Obviously, you're no Norman. <laughs> Very true, friend. Yes, I'm no Saxon, and as you say, I'm no Norman either. My mother and father came into this land many years ago from Trondheim. And like so many others, I suppose I still cling to the past. My garb, as you say, helps remind me who I am. You are high-born, my lord? My holdings and inheritance have been very kind, friend. But, alas, I hold to no title. You talk as a noble-born man, lord. We are all equal in the eyes of God. I would have your names, friends, that I might thank you for your company. Most men know me as Vali. Just that. My name is Oswin, son of Ethelwald. And this is Alfstein, son of Baldwin. We thank you for your kindness. Truly, but we must be on our way. So soon. Well, I suppose I mustn't keep you. Must be a long way. Truly. And we have yet a boar to find in these woods. I tell you, it is lost. Hunting for the winter season. Your families. The harvest was bad. Hard times for all of England. Harder still. Hunting a wounded boar, finding one in this haunted forest. What if I were to offer you, good men, a proposition? Of what kind? Twenty-five Dane girl. Each. For a small fraction of your time. I was commissioned to this past Michaelmas by the Archbishop to address a threat to the local freed here in Shrewsbury. The word of our most holy Lord has brought peace, goodwill, and salvation to our people. There are some who would cling to their pagan ways to bring about the worship of the old gods. The church cares for all its children and does not wish them to stumble. News has reached us that the activity of witchcraft has been reported along the border. I suspect Welsh involvement Due to my trade, the Archbishop found it wise to call upon my skills in this matter. The sightings were reported near the old burial mounds, just across the border of the forest, but nearly impossible to reach directly due to the treacherous mountains in that region. So, I am in need of a guide, and it appears the Lord has been merciful in sending you to my aid. What is your profession, my lord? I am a spellbreaker. A means of pacification. 
My family has followed the faith for years. Growing in the Lord has opened my eyes to the faults of my heathen ancestors. Though I maintain an admiration for them, I see now they were led astray by the Prince of Darkness. I seek now to ask God's forgiveness and ask for his blessing. You fought in the wars, Lord. I found at an early age that my hands were fashioned for the blade rather than for prayer. God places us on different paths, Elstan. Some are gifted with the blessing of smiting the enemies of God, if we must. The hour grows very late. We can spare another moment, surely. It's not safe to linger very long in the Gothweed. We will reach our destination presently, Oswin, son of Aethelwold. God has revealed that much to me. God has appeared to you in a vision, my lord. In dreams, perhaps. Dreams are but snares for men to waste their lives away, chasing them. Wise words. How do you put stock, then, in these visions? I have the gift of God's eye. When I was but a young lad, no more than seven summers of age, I was smitten by the shod hooves of my father's horse. A mortal wound, my death was secured. No one could bring back my mind into my body. But I saw things, things God keeps hidden from man. I was brought back to serve another purpose. I became his servant, an empty vessel filled with the Lord's grace. He sees through me. Well, I spilled pretty guts across the ground and trying to piss yourself. Be still, unless you fancy a second smile. English, then. We well, best teach a friend there, not to come upon a man when he has his back turned. He's but a lad, he doesn't know any better. Well, then what the hell is he doing out here? <laughs> a soldier. Invasion army. What brings you this way? Fighting was going on down south, last I hear. <laughs> Fighting be damned. Now I've had enough of this, this madness. Being slaughtered in those stinking bogs by those Welsh devils. A deserter? You know, the king has offered gold for those who return deserters. What? Yeah. Bring me all the way back for a few coppers. No. No, you're lad, you find that the, the bastard king is not so lavishly generous these days. Are you alone? Yeah. yeah. A few others tried for it, but my dog's got him. 
Decided to take my chances here in the forest. With the Welsh? The light will not allow for any more travel today. What are you lot doing out here anyway? You move south. You're welcome to share our camp until morning. I don't like this, holy man. The man seems harmless enough. He's a Norman. So is the man to whom you owe allegiance. It doesn't mean I must like it. I spent a day already on the road. Patience, Oswin. You yourself said we draw close to the burial mounds. This deserter, my lord, is a hindrance. I do not, I do not plan to spend any more time on this venture than I must. We had an agreement. And I'll keep it. But come the end of tomorrow, we part ways. Wild boar. What? You hunt a wild boar. In these woods. Oh. Yes. And nothing more. Come on, lad. I'm afraid to squeal. Surely there must be more to it. You keep in company with that Norse bastard. He's a man of God. He serves the church and our Lord. Ah. So the tale's revealed. Well, in my experience, whenever the bleeding priests get their grubby little fingers into anything, there's gold to be had in the business. He's no priest. There is no gold. What? Is it them? You're afraid if you wag your tongue, they'll cut it out. I know you're lying, boy. I tell me. Where'd you hide the gold? There is no gold. Ah, my lord. Or should I call you father? The friar? The starting bishop himself? Merely an instrument of God, my friend. <laughs> instrument of God. And what's the use you for then, friend? To wipe his arse with? I simply follow his instructions. And in turn, he speaks through my actions. You know what I'm saying? You don't look like a Christian. More like one of the heathen raiders, I reckon. God's servants are as colorful as the coat of Joseph. A bleeding who? We grow close, don't we, Oswin? That we do. We should reach the place by mid-morning on the morrow. What place? Is this where you heard the gold? What gold? There is no gold. Right, right, yeah. You, you said that. No wine either, I suppose. No. Starting hell. I sell me your mother for a gulp of ale right now. Who are you, deserter? <laughs> me. Third born son to a shit farmer from Brittany. I had no need for a third whelp. So your God saw me in my new station in life. Under pigs in the mud. And it's a shame. If my father had only found me worthy of the title of son, I might have thought twice before slitting his early throat. So I tell myself, what better place for rogues and murderers than the army? Came over to this dreary shithole with reinforcement from the Welsh front. Sodding mess. You know those Welsh bastards? They ain't human. They're merciless devils. So I tells myself, Dado, you fool. They fled home because 
murder your father. And you don't like the company of pigs. And now you murder men for lords and barons and you still live like an animal. So here I am. Your humble servant. Quite a tale. God is good. You mock the lord, sir. Your lord can sod himself for all I care. You do not believe. Oh, I believe. I believe in the power of that. I believe that all men are poor, helpless bastards scratching each other's eyes out trying to clamber to the top of the ship pile. That's all there is to life. He's got this one chance, see? So you might as well make the best of the nightmare. You do not believe in heavenly life? How can a man live without hope? I suppose you believe in all this, this uh, promises made by the church. Yes. What else is there? God speaks to the church. They are his chosen. The holy men among us tend to the flock. Well said. You worship a religion, boy. You don't believe in the Scott any more than I do. You believe in fear. So you cling to those claims made by men who have found that you can promise simple, common, daft people anything that they can dream of. And they'll follow you. Like a stray dog looking for a meal. We all hope for a better world. Is it so bad to cling to ideals? If this be my fantasy, and a good one, why must you remove me from it? And do no harm to you. Ah, philosopher. But you can even start and read, can't you? Well, good for you. But as for me, I hold what I know to be the truths of this world. A full belly, a woman to warm your bed, to live on your feet, rather than to tremble and pray on your knees. Or these are truths. Good things, scholar. But the church gives us new life. The kingdom of heaven is for those who believe without having to question those who know better. Who do you think gives them this authority to know better? Kings! Emperors! The men who will do anything to keep you hovering in poverty. Giving, give, giving all to these holy men who frequent the brothels more than you and I could ever manage. Oh, and the Kalim ones at that. You speak heresy. As one who is truly blinded. We all need, d deserve, to believe in God. It is the only way. So what about these Welsh bastards? The ones you haven't baptised or killed yet? They do not have the right to their old gods. Here, see. Heathen images, demons of darkness that led them astray. Right, of course. How yeah. oh, you know? Are they ain't right. And that you are wrong. Inner sight. What do you say? God grants inner sight to those who only take the step to believe. Young Aylston speaks the truth. The Christian God is the only light in the world. The true light. Oh, but your people, Norsemen. Some of them still cling to the old ways. Perhaps. Some. But the old gods failed us. They asked much of us, but offered nothing in return. Demigods, demons of Beelzebub. Powerful, yes, but wicked. <laughs> Believe me, how. You, you pious lot. Uh, you, you just can't see it, can you? I have seen more things, deserter, than you can imagine. You, scholar, you're awfully quiet. What do you care what I think, deserter? Come, speak up. What is it that you grovel before? I bow to no one but my god. <laughs> Another one. Another slave to the holy church. I put no stock in the church, nor its holy men, deserter. Oswin? No, no, no. Go on. In this world, man must make of it what he can. Just ask yourself, is this it? It's just fire and 
agony and punishment from a harsh and vengeful God. A dark, empty nothing. A man must choose what he clings to. I never condemn a man for believing in what gives him strength. A man needs hope. We all do in these times. You're right, Deserto. We cling to ideals. To that which you cannot have. It gives us something to live for. If you're right, and there is nothing after this, then what have I got to lose? Why must you make me aware of this? It's of no concern to you. Now, I'm not sure the Lord would approve or agree with your thoughts, Oswin. These are dark paths you stray down. Paths which lead to darker things. Perhaps. But I think you're wrong. What harm is it for a man to seek the truth? The God I cling to will not withhold this from me. Yours may be different than mine. If we can't both be right, then who's wrong? Perhaps we'll never know. Perhaps we are both right. There can only be one truth, Oswin. One right. Surely you know this. I only know what I feel, my friend. <laughs> Wasn't this a white pot of horse turds? Everyone is right. <laughs> it's so simple. <laughs> Christ, I want a woman right now, a good English whore to help ward off these bitter nights. We're off by dawn. See to it you are gone by then. My pleasure, Lord. I, I am not worthy to be keeping company with such saints. Oswin! God have mercy. He's... He's dead. Just like that. Who would have killed him? Oswin? I had no cause to kill the man. You didn't like him. And my dislikes give me cause to murder. You. Who did this? Who else? That wound. It's not from an, an axe or a spear. I tell you now, before heaven I speak the truth. Though I do not deny the temptation, I did not kill this man. But who did? We must leave. Now.
crept into our camp in the middle of the night and killed one man when we all lay helpless. God has struck him down. His damn throat was slit like a butchered sheep. Spirits. Dark spirits. Elves, maybe. Spirits be damned. The Welsh, maybe. It doesn't matter. He has been taken. We must leave. Now. Time is of the essence. Now hold on. I have questions for you, holy man. Now is not the time. Is it not? I want to know. Know what? You think I can't see right through you? I hide nothing. A Norseman acting inquisitor for the church. A cross around your neck and some fancy writing supposed to convince me. It may have worked on the boy, but not on me. Now how about you tell me why you're really here? Use your senses, man. There is no conspiracy. I'm a forgiven servant of all- Lie! I've had enough of this ludicrous venture already. I have nothing more to do with it. We had an agreement. And I kept it. The burial ground's just over the ridge. No more than a half a mile. I've earned my payment. You would cheat a man of the church. I cheat no one. The payment is mine. Fine. As you say. Where's Austin? Austin! Austin! Austin, look at me! Austin, what are you doing? She's... she's here. Can't you feel her? Who? Who is she? Austin, look at me! L listen to me, Austin! I... I have to find her. Austin!
Also. Also. Austin! Austin! Did you find him? You. Yes, I found him. I lost him in the wood. He's bewitched. I have to go back for him. Did he say anything? He kept mumbling about her. We're going back for him. We won't be going back for the boy. What do you mean? We had an agreement. And the agreement has been kept. You have brought me to our destination, where I will shortly dispatch another heretic, an enemy of God. You and your friend have your wages. We are finished. You would leave him out here to die? He is a fool, and deserves a fool's death. Who are you, holy man? No more tricks! You're no man of the church! Unlike your gullible friend, Oswin, son of Aetherwald, you are no fool, and I am no more the church's man than our deserter was. You're not here for the heretic, are you? There's no witch. Oh yes, there is a witch. That is perhaps the only grain of truth in my whole carefully fabricated tale. She is very real, and more powerful than you can imagine. So, I find it my duty to relieve her of that power. What, what are you, a warlock? A sorcerer? <laughs> no, Oswin. I am a devout man of God. What would I know of such dark alchemy? Your God has abandoned you, Oswin. He has no more power than do your droning priests to save you. The deserter was right about that much. But he was wrong about something. There is power in this world. More power than you can dream of. It is within every living thing, if only one knows how to harness it to his will. A thousand religions that people blindly cling to. Oh yes, there is power. Magic in all these things. But they do not wish to use it. Very foolish. We do not all wish to bend everything to our own selfish ambitions. This darkness, this power you seek, it would only... tear one's flesh apart. Fracture the mind. <laughs> Wrong, Oswin, son of Aethelwald. You only have to be the proper catalyst. I have discovered how this is to be. The deepest secrets, mysteries that men fear. I have banished that fear. Now I fear nothing. And now you must die, Saxon. I must collect what I came for. And you are the only hindrance. There is nothing you can do to stop me. But someone will. What? You can kill, corrupt, and destroy everything you lay your hands on. But mark this. Someday someone is going to destroy you. May you burn in hell. Brave words for a dead man. <laughs> <laughs> Tell your god who sent you, so he knows my name. Oh, 
Here, my friend, I'm here. What do you... Oswald, I don't understand. I... I, I can't. I, I, I can't. I don't... Ik vet do it tie. So, you've come at last. I've come to take what belongs to me. I've dealt with many others like you, Warlock. I know your kind well. You take what you are not gifted to have. Twisting, manipulating, fashioning it to yourself. This will only destroy you from within. Others may be. Weaker men. But not I. I've killed many of you before, Witch. And now I shall do so again. I've been watching you. You paid the Saxon, and yet you still killed him. Why? If his precious god abandoned him, it was fate. <sighs> do not pretend, thief, to know the ways of the fates. I have read the auguries. I've seen what awaits you. I make my own destiny, Witch. My own fortune. Your sticks tell you only what you want to see. No one can escape the fates. Not even you.
You were right, Hustler. Weren't you? I, I couldn't see. I, I couldn't see what he truly was. A trickster. A murderer. A more holy man than I. <laughs> foolish. So foolish. She clouded my mind. I, I couldn't see. Forgive me, friend. Forgive me. I don't know the path's back. The light's almost gone. No provisions, little water, lost wandering this place of the damned! The wolves don't get me first. Step into a bog, a loose rock dashed upon the cliffs. I, I cannot make it back alone. I need you, friend. I, I need your guidance. My God has forsaken me. I will try, my friend. I will try. Your family. I will tell them. They will know. I promise. May God rest your soul, Oswald.